Hi, welcome to this presentation on IBM Spectrum Protect Plus in the IBM Cloud. I'll be going over what Spectrum Protect Plus is, as well as what the IBM Cloud is, and then I'll show you what our new offering is. Then I'll walk through a couple examples of how to actually access Spectrum Protect Plus in the Cloud, and then show you some different resources that are available. So the general offering, we have now made available Spectrum Protect Plus as a service on the IBM Cloud in order to protect and provide data reuse to virtual environments like vCenters and Cloud Foundations. This is going available on March 19th, 2018. And when you purchase this offering, there's going to be two licensing pieces you're going to look at on the IBM Cloud where Spectrum Protect Plus will run. For instance, the VM and the storage that it utilizes. And you'll pay for that via the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions Portal. The second piece is the actual Spectrum Protect Plus licenses. And you can either bring your own license from Passport Advantage, or you can utilize the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions Portal to also pay for your Spectrum Protect Plus licenses. Spectrum Protect Plus will automatically be installed, but the customer will do the patch installation, upgrades, and special configuration of that product. I do have two YouTube videos out there if you want to see me walking through the ordering and accessing Spectrum Protect Plus, and those video links here at the bottom. So let's start with IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions. IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions can help your organization improve productivity and efficiency by reducing the IT overhead and gaining agility by expanding or offloading infrastructure and management complexity to the powerful IBM Cloud. It allows you to take advantage of hybrid clouds by extending or migrating your workloads using the secure and seamless networking capabilities that are offered by VMware. It provides consistent management where you can provision, access, manage, and monitor your hybrid environment while utilizing the normal VMware tools as well as the skills that you've developed in your corporation for VMware. The unique pricing is cost-effective CPU-based pricing of VMware software and infrastructure, so that provides you a simple and predictable bill. The global infrastructure of IBM Cloud has data centers across North America, Europe, and Asia, so you can provision cloud resources where and when you need them. And finally, the network architecture around the IBM Cloud data centers are built with best-in-class networking infrastructure and virtualization software, so it'll provide you exceptional bandwidth and connectivity and the highest speeds and reliability. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus is a product that restores your application, reuses your data, and basically reinvents your business by taking what used to just be backup data and being able to utilize that in many different ways. By modernizing your data protection environment, you can lower your data protection costs, utilize predefined SLA-based protection, elevate your staff productivity by making things easier to access, exploit your data, and enable the cloud. So when we look at Spectrum Protect Plus, it is service level agreement based so that you can assign gold, silver, bronze, or your own custom policy to the data so that it's getting protected and backed up and utilized in the way that it should be. It's simple to use and manage. We can seamlessly access your virtual machines, database, and applications, and it will be automatically installed by the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus and IBM Cloud Service, so you won't even have to install it. It offers global search and restore, where you can search across all your virtual machines data and restore from those searches both files, VMs, or VMDKs. It offers instant data recovery or data access to support your virtual and physical databases, as well as reuse cases for tests and dev, for DevOps, for reporting, analytics, or training. And if you already have Spectrum Protect for virtual environments, it's able to extend your environment to be able to send long-term data off to Spectrum Protect. It is agentless, so you don't have to fuss with installing new agents or trying to figure out how to connect in your different VMs and databases. 
and it will create application consistent or crash consistent data copies for your organization to utilize. So when you go out to the IBM cloud and want to order Spectrum Protect Plus, this is kind of the flow of how things will go. First of all, you'll go into the IBM cloud portal for VMware solutions, and you can see if you don't already have a registration, here's where you would log on the console.bluemix.net slash registration. Once you're in there, you have two choices. The first choice is, do you want to utilize an existing VMware vServer or Cloud Foundation? Or do you want to create a new instance? Once you've decided that, then you want to choose either Cloud Foundations or a vServer. Next, you'll choose IBM Spectrum Protect Plus as a service. And you will have to make some sizing decisions on Spectrum Protect Plus. And we do have a architecture guide, which is coming out in April, which will walk you through how to size Spectrum Protect Plus in the IBM cloud. Next at step three, you will purchase this offering and you need to again, make a choice. Are you going to bring your own license for Spectrum Protect Plus or are you going to purchase in portal? Step four, the Spectrum Protect Plus, as well as if you've chosen a new vServer or Cloud Foundation instance, will be provisioned and pre-configured. And at that point, you'll be able to deploy Spectrum Protect Plus, log in, and start running your first backups. We do have a whole set of Spectrum Protect Plus getting started videos that will help you with this last step so that you can rapidly become familiar with how to utilize Spectrum Protect Plus, how to configure it, how to run backups, and how to run restores. Let's go through these different steps in a little more detail here. Step one, if you choose to order a new instance of either VMware vCenter server or your VMware Cloud Foundation, when you log into the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions, you can simply click on Order Instance. However, if you already have an existing instance, you can simply go into your deployed instances area and choose either the vCenter server or Cloud Foundation instance that you want to add Spectrum Protect Plus onto. Step two, if you are adding Spectrum Protect Plus to a new instance, you will be able to click on order additional services and that will bring up the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus on IBM Cloud offering. And when you drill down into that, you'll be able to see the information about IBM Spectrum Protect Plus, and then you can choose to add it to a new instance. If there is already an existing instance of a vCenter server or Cloud Foundation, then if you go into the services portion of that already existing instance, you can then click on Add Services, and you will see the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus on IBM Cloud Service. So you can then click select services. When you go through the IBM cloud, there are a couple different paths that you can get to the same area. But the thing I just want you to remember is that you can add Spectrum Protect Plus to either a new instance that you are in the process of creating, or you can add it to an existing instance of your cloud foundations or your vCenter servers. Spectrum Protect Plus will be deployed as a pre-sized virtual machine within the primary VMware cluster in the IBM Cloud for VMware instance. And so these are the technical specifications about what is being automatically created and deployed. You will have to make some decisions on the size of your vSnap. That's where we store the backups that we're creating. You'll have to choose, for instance, the number of storage volumes, the storage size per volume, and the storage performance. And this is where the sizing guide would come in handy to help you do the sizing. You'll also see on this page, this is where you're gonna either choose to order the license from the cloud portal or to bring your own Spectrum Protect Plus license from Passport Advantage. And then you'll see down here, you'll also scroll over and choose the number of virtual machines you want to license. Those are in packs of 10. On slide 11, Spectrum Protect Plus will automatically be set up with these specific settings for change rate of 10%. It will have the service level agreements of gold, silver, and bronze available with compression set at two to one, dedupe off, and a vSnap reserve of 20%. This is a chart that's taken out of the sizing guide. 
and is an example of how we will assist you in sizing your vSnap when you're setting that up. After you've sized your vSnap and chosen the number of licenses, you can then choose to do an in-portal purchase and you will pay for Spectrum Protect Plus monthly licenses, packages of 10, and that will be billed to you by the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions. Or you can choose to bring your own license. So if you already have Spectrum Protect Plus licenses purchased through Passport Advantage, or if you have any of our storage suite licenses purchased through Passport Advantage, you can basically export that key out to a file. And that export of the key is basically like downloading it to a file, the same as you would to a trial version. So then you can import that file into the IBM Cloud and that will be utilized to bill your Spectrum Protect Plus licenses. Not the infrastructure that is Spectrum Protect Plus is running on, but the actual Spectrum Protect Plus licenses. And that billing would then go through your normal Passport Advantage for the Spectrum Protect Plus licenses. When you have gone through and sized it, it will create a estimate for you. And if you click on this estimated cost, in this example, I have created a new Cloud Foundation instance and then added Spectrum Protect Plus on top of that. And I've chosen to pay for the Spectrum Protect Plus licenses in Portal. So you'll see in the PDF that pops open, the summary of your Cloud Foundation costs, as well as your IBM Spectrum Protect Plus on IBM Cloud costs. Likewise, if you were to bring your own license, and in this case I was adding it to an existing vCenter server, when I click on estimated costs, this time all I'm going to see in there is the costs that are associated with the infrastructure inside of IBM Cloud that your Spectrum Protect Plus server is going to be running on. Once you've okayed the pricing and the sizing, it'll take 15 minutes plus to deploy the new instance of your vCenter servers and Cloud Foundations, as well as the Spectrum Protect Plus server on top of that. If all you're doing is deploying a Spectrum Protect Plus service onto an existing vCenter server, obviously that'll be a little bit faster. Once done installing, you will see then the new or existing vCenter or Cloud Foundation instance and underneath the services portion, you'll see that IBM Spectrum Protect Plus on the IBM Cloud is now showing up as installed. If you click view details on this tile, it will pop open the information about your Spectrum Protect Plus, for instance, the current version, the IP address, host name, and then the administrator and password. If you click view IBM Spectrum Protect Plus console, that will then pop open the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus console. And from here, you can log on to Spectrum Protect Plus. It may become necessary over time to add additional space to your Spectrum Protect Plus vSnap repository. So we do outline the way to do that. That is in the architectural guide. Currently, Spectrum Protect Plus is being shipped at 10.1. Once 10.1.1 releases, you will be able to update to that level. That will be the customer's responsibility. Support is provided in Portal by clicking on this link here, and that will take you to the different IBM support areas. The cloud folks will re redirect any calls that are necessary to Spectrum Protect Plus support as well. Okay, some additional resources. I do have the two YouTubes I spoke about that will show how to go through the ordering of Spectrum Protect Plus, both for an existing or a new instance, and both for a bring your own license versus a purchase and portal Spectrum Protect Plus license. There are some discounts out there available if you are an a IAS, PAAS, or doing a demo of proof of concept. So you can take a look at that as well. So in summary, IBM Spectrum Protect Plus is now available on the IBM Cloud to provide protection as well as reuse and availability for vCenter or Cloud Foundation servers that are running in the IBM Cloud. You can purchase the Spectrum Protect Plus licenses either in Portal or you can bring your own license from Passport Advantage. The infrastructure that Spectrum Protect Plus runs on will be billed via the IBM Cloud Portal. So thank you very much. 